a gamer here, and um, I have one thing to say. Battlefield 3 is amazing. That is all. Now, um, I shall be continuing my part 2 of why we hate campers video. So, I shall be starting off from where I left off last time, which was me talking about my KD on jungle. But before I actually start, I'm gonna talk about this video I'm uploading, which is, um, apparently I lied when I said I only camp on jungle, because I just, I, I also camp on summits pretty damn hard. So, a little bit of a ironic video right now, um, I'm gonna be talking about why we hate campers, and, um, I'm uploading a video of me camping and getting a pretty damn high KD. Actually, I got a 19.5 KD on this, this round, so... Yeah, so I got. Oh, wait, before I finish. This was pretty cool. I like that. Alright, so back to the video. Um. I was talking about uh, my KD on jungle. So, yeah, every time I'm on jungle camping, I always get a KD of around 5 or higher. I always get my dogs, I always get my chopper gunner. And that just makes my KD go higher. So, back to the question. If. Um, my brain just froze. Okay, so if you if you care about your KD, and if uh, running around and just running around and trying to get kills like that, and it doesn't work for you, why not try a camping technique? And if you also hate campers, try it anyway. Let's think about it. Um, if you care about your KD as much as I do, because that's pretty much the only um. Uh, stat or statistic I care about in my, um, Black Ops. I don't care about my accuracy. I can have like the worst accuracy but the highest KD and I'll be happy. So if you care about your um, KD and running around doesn't work for you, try a camping technique. And if you hate campers, maybe you should learn to love them. Learn the techniques of a camper. Because if you care about your KD and um, I'm just bringing back the question back up again. If running around doesn't work, try camping. Uh, well, since I'm talking about camping, might as well give you some tips if you're actually going to plan on trying to camp. Um, some tips for camping is would be find a spot where most people keep run of the opposed team keep uh, coming. Like for for instance, in Summit, this is positively the best spot to camp in because they always because you have a um, a clear view of the left side, which their spawn zone is actually right there that I just passed, and you have the middle side, which uh, also another spawn area they spawn in so you have a view of two spawn points right below you and right in there in the back however um you won't have um a view of their right side since you're a little too far so let your friends do that okay so that's a little technique um now if uh, both camping techniques and running around and shooting people does not work for you I say I highly suggest get another game because Black Ops is definitely not for you. Because I um, because if you run around or camp and still get pretty damn pissed off at the game. Oh, by the way, before I f I got a nuke right there, my KD just went to 25 and 0. So if I was playing Monofer 2, I would have gotten a nuke. So that's just a little achievement right there for myself, and I get shot. All right, so yes, I highly suggest get a new game if you suck at this. But, uh, just, oh, got shot again. My mind keeps wandering off. Maybe this wasn't the best idea to talk about it. But anyway, back to the question. Actually, I pretty much covered everything. Just realized that. All right, so actually, no, I'm gonna bring this up again. Um, I was actually trying to figure out of um a different style of camping, such as battlefield style, because I actually never played battlefield or actually had no idea how it was. The only all I could get was just some questions off people who actually played it. And I still didn't get um, answers from them. So what I decided to do was actually at first I realized that um, experiencing and uh, listening to is a completely different thing. For instance, experiencing campers in Black Ops, uh, no, no, in Battlefield is a lot different than being told how campers are in Battlefield. So being lucky, um, I got into Battlefield Beta. Actually, it's open right now, so it's not technically luck. I just downloaded it, started playing. So here's what I uh, I, I started playing Battlefield to just actually back to my first comment that I made it before I started the video battlefield is amazing it's beautiful it's just amazing I am definitely gonna get battlefield 3 when it comes out forget Modern Warfare for three I'm not even gonna think about that when I'm playing my battlefield 3 gameplay alright so um, 
So I experienced campers, and to tell you the truth, I do highly believe that in Battlefield 3, you camp a lot, a lot, and I, I'm going to emphasize that one more time, a lot, hipfire for the win, a lot of, okay, that's enough a lot, you camp a lot more in Battlefield than you do in COD gameplay, because first of all, here's what I did, uh, in Battlefield 3, the map is extremely huge, especially since, um, the, be the beta, it's, um, the map is uh, Operation Metro, and the gameplay is Rush, and pretty much it's three maps packed into one area. So technically, imagine um, for Black Ops, imagine what's the, what's the biggest map? Um, okay, the biggest map I can think of right now is Launch. However, that's still not enough. Imagine Launch, four times bigger, and that's not the entire game map that's only like one section of battlefield 3 and there's three sections so imagine launch four times bigger and then imagine that playing on that three sections so it's pretty much it's extremely humongous and there's actually very few players playing it such as like let's say um 10 people per team so there's actually a lot more room for strategy I guess however in beta we're not using strategy we're just pretty much camping which I do I just hide in a bush and shoot everywhere so again back to the question since now I have uh, some battlefield uh, experience I actually try to run around in battlefield trying to get kills to experience both techniques of camping and running around so I played like maybe 20 games of running around and tell you the truth my KD was horrible it was like maybe Point five overall, and then I tried camping, and my KD just whooshed way up. It went to like maybe um 1.9. So I'm gonna camp on Battlefield 3. But then again, for people who hate campers, why? I mean, think about it. If you care about your KD, you are just getting kills in the overall definition. Just getting kills. Why not camp? It's a lot more safer because the they don't know where you are. Actually, technically, you, they do after you kill them. But then you can just move, change your camping position, but not too far, and then just keep killing. Why not? Okay, I actually do believe I actually uh, touched upon all points of this topic. I've talked about questions. I've talked about actually that's pretty much it. I've beaten a dead horse to the end. I got nothing else to say about why we hate campers. Unless I actually say why we actually do, which is because they stay in one place, when you run up to them they kill you, and then you just pretty much do the same thing over until they, they get sniped or they get tired and move out. So, I actually have nothing left to say. Which is actually a shame, because actually, when I was actually putting up my first video, I actually had a lot to say, and apparently I've put this video off for too long, I've completely forgot what I was talking about. So I'm going to finish off here, however the video will continue. So I actually have one question. If um, if you feel like I haven't touched up on all points of why we hate campers, or if you feel like there's other reasons why to hate campers besides they just stay in one spot and get a whole bunch of kills, comment or message me and tell me why, and then I'll... Be I actually don't really care about making another video about this topic, I just really want to know why we hate campers. Since in my personal opinion, I don't really hate campers or maybe it's just because I am a camper so I'm just takes one to no one and I don't really hate myself so it's a little bit to think about now for those people who actually do hate campers to the bone try camping try it and if you suck at it well try another game but if you do hate campers try out camping and if it works for you then think back on what I'm saying think back why you hated campers in the first place and then and then tell me or just tell yourself have like a little What's the word? Meditate? No, it's not the word. Um, reflection. Have a little reflection on yourself. And think about if you still hate campers, since you are a camper. Think about it. It's actually a pretty interesting topic. And so, just message me. I'm curious what... Ooh, I got a kill. Okay, so that's my end of the topic of why we hate campers. I've literally got nothing to say, because if I just keep talking, I'll just sound stupid. About just making shit up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change the subject, because I don't really want to... Ooh, I got a knife. Man, my brain keeps just moving on. So I'm going to talk about something else. Otherwise, it's, I don't really want to feel like I just ended here with no audio. So what I'm going to talk about is actually Battlefield 3 Beta. 
Actually, I'm gonna post a video of a uh, gameplay. Hopefully, the sa the sad thing is it won't be in HD because I because the HD is just simply amazing. Black Ops and Call of Duty, I mean the same thing in one. Co uh, Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, and you know, I've actually seen some uh, Modern Warfare 3 videos. Though these games have nothing, nothing compared to how beautiful Battlefield 3 looks. It's magnificent. Um. Have you ever heard the term more real than life? Battlefield 3 pretty much is close to defining that term. When I was playing it, it was so beautiful that I actually thought that was life, real life. And when I looked, when I turned off the game and I looked around, I'm like, this looks like a game. Which I, uh, actually, while I'm talking about this, I'm actually thinking about some other topics of life, which is um. How addicting games can be, and when a uh, addict, uh, game addicts say um, they feel when they're playing the game, they feel like they're playing real life. That's actually deep because right now I just realized how bad it is. I actually never became a game addict, and I've been playing World of Warcraft for around a year and a half. And when I actually dropped uh, Mon uh, no, not Mon uh, WoW, when I dropped WoW, uh, normally I thought I was an addict, but when I dropped it, I didn't feel much. I'm like, okay, I dropped it. I'm just gonna find another game to play. Did I just get dogs? Awesome. Go doggies. Um, gotta stay on focus. Gotta stay on topic. Gotta stay on topic. Um, so yes. Maybe I should revisit... Hmm. Hang on. I need to contemplate about my thoughts right now before I start talking again. Okay, so... I just got up another question. So the reason addicts play or get addicted to games is because they feel it's better than life or it is life. So... For me, since I dumped WoW and started playing another game that was equally fun, so wouldn't the cure to a game addiction just be another game? But then again, it's like saying uh, getting off cigarettes is just the same as getting addicted to alcohol. So like, ooh, I just got sniped. Uh, stop. So you're s <sighs> contemplate. I need to contemplate. So yeah, what I just said was um, it's like uh, if you want to dump cigarette addiction, you pretty much just get an alcohol addiction. So that's not that's not a good thing but however if you slowly start changing games such as from WoW to maybe let's say another game that's not as highly addictive or let's say it is equally addictive I can tell you the truth I have no idea where I want with this my, my thoughts just went oh I just got stuck my thoughts just went completely off so I guess I'm done here my video is almost over and I'm just gonna say my my farewell. So that's my topic on why we hate campers. I do believe I've beaten a dead horse, and thank you kindly. My video is over. Thank you.